actually, um, Adra was established by the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And it underwent a lot of name changes during that period of time. Nevertheless, we are now known as the Adventist Development and Relief Agency since 1984. ADRA is actually um, part of the United Nations in the essence wherein um, ADRA was granted a general consultative status by the United Nations. So wherever you go in the world, there are people and they are, are authorized to work during not only disaster, but also during um, to relief um, conditions in, in the world. So we find that um, we are a global humanitarian organization. Huh? Therefore, you find um, we partner with our local churches to run initiative. The different type of initiative that we run are such as food pantry, community gardens, and emergency relief. Here in St. Martin, um, we hit the road running in 2017 with Hurricane Irma. We became uh, an official organization in uh, 2018. And uh, um, since then, uh, we have this chapter here in St. Martin. So um, our secretary, Ms. Barry, is going to continue giving you more elaboration of what all is being done here, and especially um, concerning the event for this evening. Thank you, Dr. Douglas. Um, if you look here, you're going to see um, a grow bag. Now, ADRA, not o it's not only um, development, but also relief so, and education. So we teach people how to help themselves. So um, it's not just about handing you money, and then you're going to go to the supermarket and buy the groceries. We concentrate a lot on health. and. Therefore, we teach people how to provide for themselves in a healthy way. One of the principles as Seventh-day Adventists that we have, we focus a lot on health. Hence the reason the Grow Back Project came about um, right after uh, COVID. And um, we, we wanted to show, I'm the founder, I don't know if any of you here um, is part of the Kitchen Garden Club on Facebook. It's a Facebook group. Okay, we have one person here. We have, I'm the founding member. I'm the founder of the Kitchen Garden Club, um, with over 2,000 plus members, and it it actually started during the COVID lockdown, and um, it kicked off. Everybody was busy. Every everybody was bored. Let me see. Well, some of us were bored, and hence the reason. The, um, I decided to open a, 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 a club for people like me who is very much into gardening. And um, I decided, we decided as ADRA to introduce the Grow Back Project so people can learn how to grow. I see we have some older folks here. I call them the golden age people. They may not be able to stoop in the garden to because we have knee problems. I, I'm 53 and I have knee problems already, so stooping is not really my thing, but I love gardening. And hence, the, the grow bags, which you could just put on a stand and your stuff grow. I love the grow bags. I have seen, and other people who have purchased it, have seen great results with the grow bags. Um, you can grow just about everything in it. Just about everything, it, it keeps the moisture in. While it does sip through, but it also keeps the moisture in so you don't have to um, um, water too often. And you get absolutely great results with it. And you don't have to have the bending over and back problems that comes with gardening. Uh, you, As I said, you can grow just about everything in it. What the Grow Back project is we... we um, 
selected 100 families in the community. Um, we, we looked at the needs of those, um, the recipients, and we decided to provide them with a grow bag. We um, fill the grow bag with produce, of course, fresh produce that they can use, and also uh, a cup with um, a plant and seeds, and we say, here's yours. So we fed 100 families for three months, so we gave 300 grow bags to 100 families in the community, and we um, follow up with them to see where the progress was, while some took the bag and went shopping with it. But there are some people who also use the grow bag for exactly what it was meant to be, and we applaud them for that. And tonight, as those of you who will become recipients of this bag, um, through the government, and we want to thank uh, the Ministry of ASR for um, collaborating with us to have the grow bag, to um, uh, purchase the grow bags, that you can be recipients of it. And please, we're asking Mr. Arendelle, follow up with them, because if you don't follow up with them, it defeats the whole purpose. And those of you who will get the bags, please use it. Use it for what it's meant to be. And you will, you will be so proud. You will be, you'll be very proud of what it will be able to give you. It will save at least, I don't know how much, but it saved me a lot of money going into the store to buy the produce when I could grow lettuce, tomato, cucumbers, just about everything that you can think of will grow in this bag. So I encourage you this evening to, those of you who will be receiving the bags, make use of it and give updates, send your updates to um, the ministry, let them know, uh, let them see that you are using the bags and um, trust me, you will be very happy with it. I want to thank um, Mr. Arendelle and the Minister of um, VSA for coming or collaborating with ADRA to do this project. And wherever, whenever you guys need our help as it pertains to the grow bag, we're right here. We're, we're right here. You can call on them and they will call on us and say, oh, I'm having a problem with this. What's up? <laughs> so once again, thank you so much for um, allowing us to be here and we as Adra are very proud to assist our community when we come together everybody is we've come at the end of tonight's ceremony but not the project in a few months the department will follow up with you um, to arrange an appointment to see how far you are coming along with your grow bags so that's the reason why I, I kind of smiled when when Ms. Barry was, was explaining about the follow-up, you know, because it, it was literally in my notes. Um, because we want to ensure that this project is making an impact, all right? It is not just um, part of our checklist that we mark it off and we walk away. Someone said that the best time to grow was 10 years ago. The second best time to grow is now all right so so do not underestimate this intervention because chances are we're well not chances are because we want to be very intentional we want that by the next world food day 16th of october 2024 that we can come by your garden right and, and, and um, get your testimonies, take pictures, and showcase it to the world to let them know, right, food security starts with me, all right? You have to be able to inspire those around you, right? And you have to help them recognize the urgency of playing their role to combat hunger, poverty, and starvation on this island. I would like to ask everyone to take a pledge, okay? I would like to ask everyone to take a pledge. If you can stand, stand. If you can't, it's not a problem. And I need you to repeat after me.
Okay? I pledge to plant at least four crops in my grow bags. I pledge to be an example and inspire others to grow their food. I pledge to save the seeds to expand my garden and give the harvest to loved ones. I pledge to give a portion of my harvest to those in need. Food security starts with me. Food security starts with me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.